Colorful Vulcan X 1080 Ti with tachometer. Here is what looks like a normal 6 GPU 1080 Ti mining rig, currently mining Zcash. These are PowerColor 1080 Ti Vulcan X GPUs. It's a pretty cool looking GPU, and unlike any other GPUs, it does have something pretty unique on the side of the GPU. You can see that each GPU has its own tachometer. These will display core clock speeds, fan speeds, temperature. Really cool, really nice if you want to see what's going on with your GPUs without actually checking it on a monitor. Another interesting feature on these GPUs is the one touch overclocking button. Touch the button once and the GPU goes in overclock mode. Something that we still don't see on very many GPUs and actually outside of China I can't think of a single GPU that has them. The colorful top series of GPUs also has the one touch overclocking button. And so do the Galaxy Hall of Fame HOF series of GPUs. Here you can see a number of 1070s with the one touch overclocking button. Here is the iGame Zone software by PowerColor to control the Vulcan X GPUs. On the opening screen, you can check out your temperatures, clocks for both core and memory. You can switch between the six GPUs. If you click on monitor, you can select what you want to monitor. If you click on adjust, you can change the core clock speed, fan control, create a user defined fan curve, memory clock, target power, and target temperature. By clicking on the LED tab, you can change the color of the LEDs on each GPU. You can also change the method that it uses for the LEDs, breath, bright, multi-breath, multi-bright, or you can just turn them off. If you click on LCD, you can control the tachometer, how often it switches. Switch it manually by hotkeys, you can define what hotkey you want to use, or you can just turn it off. If you go to settings, you can set it to automatically start when Windows starts, you can set it to start minimized, and you can set it to apply the settings you previously used. You can change the language between English and Chinese, and you can change the refresh frequency for the monitoring. There's also live update, but that seems disabled. I'm not sure why. I'm going to have to look a little bit more into that. Back on the main screen, if you click on the I beside iGame Zone, it brings up the card info. Here you can see all the details about the card like memory type, memory size, bus width, bandwidth, GPU clock, memory clock. So that's about it. I thought these GPUs were pretty unique with their tachometer. I think we'll be seeing more tachometers on GPUs in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.